Hello everyone, in this video we will be discussing about ISRO Scientist Engineer Computer Science All Question Paper of Database. I have already uploaded the questions for other subjects uh, like uh, Compiler, TOC and Programming Languages. You can go through those videos. Uh, in this video we will be discussing about the questions which were asked in 2007 and 2008. So let's move to the question. Okay, which commands are used to control access over objects in relational databases? So okay, we are talking here about control access. For controlling the access, we have a language which is called DCL. That is data control language allows the database administrators uh, to configure security access. Okay, it uses two commands. Those commands are grant and revoke. Okay, grant and revoke are the two commands which are used. Grant is used to provide permission to give access and revoke is used to uh, remove the access. So the answer is B for this question that is grant and revoke. Next, which of the following is an aggregate function in SQL? Okay, it is the average, the functions such as average, AVG, min, Sorry, it is min, max, and count, and sum. These are the aggregate functions in SQL. So, option is A, that is average. One approach to handle fuzzy logic data may be to design a computer system using ternary based logic, ternary, okay, so that the data could be stored as true, false, or unknown. 0, 1, and unknown. If each ternary element is a flit, how such fills are required to represent at least 256 different values? See, uh, generally we talk about binary. In binary, we have 0 and 1. Okay. And in binary, in place of flit, we use bit. Okay. And uh, for calculating the number of bits required, you calculate 2 to the power x. That is value of x is equal to 256 and you would calculate the value of x. But now we are call, uh, talking about flit. So there are three values, 0, 1 and unknown. And the value is flit. So wh what we would be doing is we would be calculating 3 to the power x. So that the value of x. So that it is greater than or equal to 256. Okay, let's uh, put the hit and try method. Uh, if we calculate 3 to the power 5, it would be 243. 243 is less than 256. So let's calculate 3 to the power 6. 3 to the power 6 is 729. And that means 256 lies between 2, 343, 243 and 7, 279. So we would be using 6 bits. Sorry, 6 flits. We would be using 6 flits. Okay, next. A view of a database that appears to an application program is known as, okay, the view which is applicable to the application program is called a subschema, okay. It is also called external, external level, okay. Uh, th that is the user's view, because sometimes it is also called user's view. So, you have to remember this, it is subschema. Logical view as it appears to the application program. It is the logical view. Okay. Next. That is subschema. Next. Armstrong inference rule does not determine. Okay. Uh, let's say what, see what are Armstrong's inference rule. Armstrong's inference rule, uh, they satisfy reflexivity. Okay. Reflexivity, augmentation and transitivity. Okay. What is reflexivity? It, it is if B is a subset of A, then A implies B is trivial. Okay, so this is reflexivity. What is augmentation? If A implies B, then AX must imply BX. So this is augmentation. What is transitivity? If A implies B, and B implies C, then A implies C. This is transitivity. Okay. And when the Armstrong inference rule, they are applied repeatedly. Repeated uh, application of Armstrong infl uh, inference rule, it uh, generates closure of, you have to remember, generates closure of 
marital dependencies okay so this can be asked when armstrong inference rule are uh, applied repeatedly it generates the closure of the functional dependency and it is reflexivity augmentation and transitivity so which does not determine as mutual dependency okay next which operation is used to extract specified columns of the table okay uh these are not a uh, command okay so join operation is joins two tables two relations that is a project Project is used to extract columns, whereas select operation is used to extract rows, tuples. So the answer is project for columns. Next, in the Big Indian system, the computer stores. Okay, now let's see what is a Big Indian system. In the Big Indian Indian system, the MSB of the data is stored in the lowest memory address, and the lowest significant bit of the data is stored in highest memory address okay this is for big indian big indian so the answer would be msb of the data in the lowest memory address of the data unit and lsb of the data in the highest memory address of the data unit so there are two options uh, are given so this this questions may be uh, left out for evaluation so there are two options for this okay next bcnf is not used for cases where the relation has if the candidate keys are composite okay uh, then BC, we cannot use bcnf it is the answer if we have the candidate keys which are composite okay why if the candidate keys are composite then it then there is a possibility of partial dependency there it is not sure that, that there would be a partial dependency but there is a possibility of partial dependency so if there is a partial dependency the relation would not be in 2nf if it is not in 2nf then it would not be in bcnf or 3nf Okay, so this is the answer. Two candidates' keys are composite. Next, which of the following is correct with respect to two-phase locking protocol? So let's see what is a two-phase locking protocol. It has two phases. Uh, one uh, is the phase which is called the growing phase. Okay, and the second phase is called the shrinking phase. In the growing phase, what uh, happens is uh, the transaction obtain locks. Okay, in the shrinking phase, it the tra the transaction it release locks. Okay, and uh, it ensures serializability. Serializability. What happens is if there are two transactions T1 and T2, if transaction T1 has lock one, lock two, lock three, and lock four, so in the growing phase it won't release any lock. It would release the locks in the shrinking phase only. So it would ensure the serializability of the transactions. Okay, next, the set of all equivalence classes of a set set of all equivalence classes of a set of cardinality C. What is it? Let's see. Equivalence equivalence classes should be reflective, symmetric, and transitive. Okay. What are equivalence uh, uh, sorry equivalence classes? It is something which is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. Sorry, transitive. So it is forms it forms a partition of A. Set of all equivalence classes, it forms a partition of A. Next. The level of aggregation of information required for operational control is it is detailed for operational control. It is detailed because you have to operate a system, so detailed information is required. But for planning, for strategic planning, for strategic planning, only aggregate is enough. So the answer here is operational. So detailed uh, would be our answer. Okay. Next, the join operation can be identified as okay. Generally, the join operation is the combination of two. That is the Cartesian product, and which of uh, Cartesian product followed by a selection operation. Followed by selection. So generally, what we do is uh, we join two tables by Cartesian product. 
okay when we join two tables if it has n rows it is as another table has m rows so number of rows in the cartesian product would be m cross n and based on the selection based on some condition we can remove the unwanted tuples so it would become a join okay so it is cartesian product of two relation followed by selection a is our answer for this question next embedded pointer provides now what are embedded pointers embedded pointers are pointers set in data record okay so um, data record pointers you can say it as the pointers in data record set of pointers in data set which point to another data set so we have suppose a data set over here it would point to another data set so secondary access path that is it is pointing to first that it would point to next data set so it is the secondary access path it provides a secondary access path so this is all about the database questions if you like the video please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe our channel and for any queries and any uh, problem you can mail us to l3looklonely.gmail.com thank you